In this chapter, we will study what is big data, various sources of big data, characteristics of big data, and the application of big data in various domains. What is big data? Big data is a massive volume of both structured and unstructured data. Structured data like example, relational tables, unstructured data like a flat files, audio files, video file, images. Data is so large it is difficult to process using traditional database software techniques available at present. The volume of data is too big. It moves too fast or it is exceeds current processing capacity. It moves too fast. Example, data received from the CCTV camera, data received from the YouTube, data received from the satellite, exceed the current processing capacity, the current capacity which cannot process data as data is in various forms and it is coming with a different speeds. Characteristics of big data. Number one, volume. Data received from various sources having various sizes. It is ex increasing exponentially. Every day millions of data is generated through social networks. Some CCTV camera, some sensors placed over the ocean. Various satellites sends the various information from their end. Velocity, data is coming at different rates, some are coming in milliseconds, some are coming in seconds, some are coming after an hour also. Variety, data is in the different forms, structure, unstructured. Veracity, data is in the doubt whether data is reliable or unreliable from the various sources the data is coming. Challenges of big data. The first important challenge is data is it growth the data is increasingly day by day exponentially because every day a user generates lots of data over the internet or maybe the data is generated from some government officials storage as data is increasing the storage is the biggest problem synchronization across the data sources Data is coming from various sources, maybe from internet, maybe from the telephone industry, maybe from coming satellite and data is, as data is coming from various sources, it's difficult to manage the synchronization between them. Security as data requires the confidentiality, integrity and data is huge, it's difficult to manage the security over that data. Unreliable data, we are not aware from the whichever the source is coming. The data is reliable, should be we rely on it or we should not rely on it. There are miscellaneous challenges. Number one, the integration of data skill and talent availability. So data is coming from various sources, it is difficult to integrate at one place. Skills and talent is not available because that requires a huge amount of time to develop. Another challenge is solution expenses. As the data is huge, it's difficult to manage, process and this, as skills and talent is not available as much, we have to hire people who have those skills as their requirement is less, definitely solution become expensive because we have to pay them handsome money. Processing a large amount of data in time and with the accuracy. Another important problem is the time. As data is huge, we don't have a capacity to process that. It requires a huge amount of time. And the accuracy is another biggest question. Job roles. This is a motivational slides to understand. There is a various jobs roles are available. Analyst specialist, BI analytics consultant, analytic associate, architectural engineer business consultant which is you can see on the x uh, y axis you can see on x axis the salaries are shown 
reasons why big data careers have become craze. Huge demand for the big data professionals, the shortage of big data talent, wide choice of job types and technologies because it requires various skills to be adapted, various technology to be adapted. You cannot work with a single technology. Lucrative salary offers. Data life cycle. We need to understand what is the problem, what is the understanding of the business based on that, what is the need of it. We should understand the, what data we have, which is generated from that business. Then we should understand what preparation has to be done on that data. We have to pre-process that data. Based on that, we will apply some modeling. We create some model which is goes under to evaluation and again we start understanding whether the model is so giving a solution to understand the business or does it is fulfilling the business needs if it's not then again to repeat the cycle once we reach to them some confidential level some support level we can go on deployment of the project big data analytics core deliverables so what go we are going to deliver to the customer number one machine learning implementations this could be a classification algorithm regression model or a segmentation model recommendation system the object is to develop a system that recommends choice based on user behavior example it's netflix suppose you are watching one of the movie based on that you will be recommended which movie should be watched by you the next time you are going for watching the movies based on your likes based on your in place based on your favorite director based on your favorite actor that is recommended dashboard business business normally needs a tools to visualize aggregated data a dashboard is a graphical mechanism to make this data accessible across the network what we are actually going to deliver in a short, we are actually going to deliver ad hoc analysis. Normal business areas have the questions. Hypothesis means that can be answered through our system. So these all questions will be answered through our system. That is our core deliverables.